Previously in the book of Proverbs, I explained that a sinner cannot hide anything from God, whether he does something in secret, his mind, his thoughts, God sees it all. And now I'm going to be explaining verse 19. In the multitude of words, there lacks not sin, but he that refrains his lips is wise. So we are here admonished concerning the government of the tongue, that necessary duty of a Christian. It is good to say little, because in the multitude of words, there lacks not sin. Meaning that if you talk so much, sooner or later, there possibly could be a more higher chance of sin coming out of your mouth. Or it could also mean sin does not cease. Usually, those that speak much, speak much amiss. And among many words, there cannot but be many idle words, which they must shortly give an account of. Those that love to hear themselves talk do not consider what work they are making for repentance. For that will be wanted and first or last will be had, where there lacks not sin. It is therefore good to keep our mouth as with a bridle. He that refrains his lips, that often checks himself and suppresses what he has thought, and holds in that which would transpire, is a wise man. It is an evidence of his wisdom, and he therein consults his own peace. Little said is soon amended. And keep in mind this also could apply to prayer. If you're praying for an hour or like 30 minutes, 20 minutes, you know, you know, that's also dangerous because you can say something out of your mouth that could offend God and, and make him angry like it says in Ecclesiastes. In fact, a good groan, God knows what that is. Words that cannot be uttered, 